Have you ever wondered what a day in the life of a busy bee looks like? As the sun peeks over the horizon, our tiny bee friend stirs from her sleep in the cozy hive. She's not a fan of snooze buttons, you see. Instead, she gently stretches her delicate wings, shaking off the sleepiness. Now it's time for a quick morning workout. A few wing flaps here, a couple of buzzes there. She's warming up for the busy day ahead. Picture a bird flapping its wings early in the morning, only tinier and buzzier. As the morning air fills her senses, a sense of excitement buzzes through her. The dawn's cool breeze, the dew-kissed flowers, and the promise of a new day. It's a beautiful world out there, and she can't wait to explore it. She takes one last look at her hive, her home, before she sets off. And with that, our little bee friend is ready for the day. Now, what do you think is the first thing on our bees to-do list? As soon as our little friend flutters its wings in the morning, it embarks on a very important mission. It's what we like to call a nectar quest. You see, nectar is not just a sweet treat for bees, it's their food and their energy source. And not just that, it's also the key ingredient in making honey. But how does a bee find nectar? Well, it's a bit like a treasure hunt. Our bee friend uses its keen sense of smell to locate the most fragrant flowers in the garden. Once it zeroes in on a flower, the bee lands gently on its petals and dips its long tongue into the flower's center to sip the sweet nectar. Now this isn't a one flower stop. Oh no, a busy bee visits up to a hundred flowers in one trip, imagine that! And it doesn't stop there. The bee repeats these trips all day long, going back and forth from the flower fields to their hive. But this isn't just about gathering food. You see, as the bee buzzes from flower to flower, it helps the flowers grow by spreading their pollen. It's a beautiful circle of life where everyone benefits. And so, with a belly full of nectar and a body dusted with pollen, our bee friend heads back to the hive. That's right, the nectar quest is a success. Did you know bees have their own special dance? Yes, it's true. Our busy bee friends love to boogie. This isn't just any dance, though. It's a dance with a purpose. You see, when a bee discovers a field full of the most fragrant and nectar-rich flowers, it can't wait to share this sweet secret with the rest of the hive. So it performs a special dance, or as we like to call it, the bee boogie. This dance is a unique way bees communicate with each other. By wiggling and jiggling in certain patterns, the bee tells its friends the direction and distance to the best flowers. Imagine it like a treasure map, but instead of X marks the spot, it's a bee boogie that leads the way. Isn't that fascinating? So next time you see a bee, remember it might just be heading home to share some exciting news with a dance-off. And that's how the bee boogie helps the hive thrive. Ever wondered how bees turn nectar into honey? Well, it's quite an interesting process, and our buzzing friends are quite the scientists. Once a bee collects nectar from a flower, it stores it in its special honey stomach. This is different from its regular stomach because it's a place where the magic begins. The nectar mixes with enzymes in the bee's honey stomach, starting to transform into something new. When the bee returns to the hive, it passes the nectar to another bee through a process called regurgitation. Yes, it may sound a bit yucky, but it's actually pretty cool. The second bee also adds some enzymes, and this process continues from bee to bee. Each time the nectar changes a little bit more, eventually, the nectar ends up in a honeycomb cell. Now it's still quite watery at this point, so the bees get to work again. They fan their wings over the nectar, which helps the water to evaporate. As the water evaporates, the nectar thickens and becomes... You guessed it, honey. But the bees aren't done yet. They seal the honey in the honeycomb with a wax cap, keeping it safe and fresh. It's like nature's own canned food, ready to be enjoyed whenever the bees need it. And that's how our buzzing friend helps create the sweet treat we all love, honey. Now let's meet some of the bee's buddies back at the hive. First, we have the queen bee, the one and only ruler of the hive. Her main job, she lays the eggs that will spawn the hive's next generation of bees. The queen is the busiest bee in the hive, and she's the largest one too. Then we have the worker bees. These are the gals you'll see out and about, collecting nectar and pollen from flowers. But they're not just nectar collectors, oh no. They also take on the roles of housekeepers, nurse bees, and even builders, maintaining the hive and taking care of the young. Finally, we have the drones. They're the only guys in the hive, and their main job is to mate with the queen. But don't let their laid-back job fool you. They're an essential part of the beehive community. In the hive, every bee has a job to do, and they all work together. After a busy day, what's the last thing our bee does? 
Well, just like us after a long day, our bee friend heads back home for some much needed rest. Imagine if you will, a tiny bee, wings a flutter, making its way back through the cool evening air. It's been a day filled with nectar quests, bee boogies and sweet honey making. Tired but satisfied, our busy bee navigates its way back to the comfort of the hive. Once inside, it finds a cozy spot among its fellow bees. The hive hums with the soft sound of hundreds of tiny wings folding in for the night. There's a sense of peace that fills the air, a calm after a day of buzzing about. Our bee friend closes its eyes, ready to dream about the next day's adventures. And as the moon rises, our busy bee friend finally gets to rest. Good night, little bee. We can't wait for another day of adventure.